Welcome back everybody, the History Guy here. This is my very first look at the battle in the Confederate campaign of Ultimate General Civil War known as Hall's Ferry Road. Now I believe, if I'm reading this right at this point, we are dealing with fictional battles because we are at the point where the Confederacy is going to turn this around and win the Civil War. In order to do that, we have to take certain objectives. And in this case, it looks like this is a battle to take back the city of Vicksburg and liberate the Mississippi River for the Confederacy. So we'll go ahead and read what it says here. Uh, September 14th, 1864, it's time to counterattack on our western front and regain control of the Mississippi River. The loss of Vicksburg in 1863 has split the Confederacy in two, cutting off the states of Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas from the rest of our states. The recapture of the city will not only restore our honor, but most importantly, will also reestablish our communications with the Trans-Mississippi Department. This will give us access to valuable resources and supplies from the West that will aid us for our final strike at the federal capital. A part of the forces that have been sent north to make the Federals believe that we will attack at Jackson and Graveyard Roads. Our plan, however, is to attack at Halls Ferry Road to the south. It's a well-defended position, and it's going to be a tough and bloody task. But if we break through and secure Halls Ferry Road, then Federals will be forced to abandon Vicksburg. So it's interesting it mentions about getting the supplies you need, because these next two what are known as minor battles before the final uh, assault on Washington, each come with them 21,000 reinforcements for winning. The only question is, how many do I lose in winning this? So, uh, in this case, I get to take two corps. I've got 22 brigades in one, 21 in the other. I'm taking a lot of artillery because if I'm going to be assaulting a fortified position, which it appears I will be, I'm going to need the artillery. Uh, so as you can see, I've got 75,000 soldiers, 228 guns. He's got 53,000 soldiers, but 288 guns. Uh, this is my very first time playing this battle. I have not seen it. I have not played it. I haven't watched any videos of anybody else playing it. So I honestly have absolutely no idea what to do here. General, the Halls Ferry Road is defended by the strong salient work redoubt at the right of the road. Wow, it's up on a big hill, too. This is going to be a nightmare in casualties. And a fortified hill at the left. Jeez. The Federals have also constructed a second, smaller redoubt to support salient work from the west. Jeez, I don't like this at all. This is going to be brutal. Absolutely brutal. Nothing I like about this. You will lead two of your corps to breach their defenses and secure the road. During the night, our engineers inspected the abandoned trenches from the Federal attack of 1863, and they ensure us that some of them can be used by your men to approach the enemy. All right. So let's take a look at this here. We're all down at the very end here. Man, I, there's nothing about this that I like at all. So I'm guessing they're right here. So I guess we'll just get behind these fortifications and start firing at them from those, I suppose, is the thing here. Actually, we'll keep Macintosh back. Send Devin up here. I'll put Bennett over there, too. Okay, we do have some spots for artillery here. Man, I don't like going into a new battle where I have no clue what I'm doing. But hey, that makes it a little more realistic, I suppose. Because I'm not dealing with a situation where I know what's going on. Nor would generals in real life have known ahead of time. They would have had to have reacted to the situation. And that's what I'll be forced to do. Well, I guess I got more than one going to that same spot. Okay, well fast forward. We got This is a six hour battle. So there's plenty of time to take the objectives. But he outnumbers me, even though I'm eventually going to outnumber him by the time this is all said and done. 
But I don't know if there's certain objectives I have to take to trigger those reinforcements or if they'll just happen on their own. So there's a lot of like unknowns to, to how I have to go about this. I don't know if I can just shoot it out and wait for my reinforcements or if I have to jump on some of these objectives to trigger those reinforcements. I guess we'll find out. My hunch is to wait, just shoot it out for a little while, use my artillery, and then just hope that I'm able to soften the positions up enough where reinforcements can come up and push them out. But we'll have to see how this is going. So far, we're shooting it out pretty even. But obviously, even's not good enough. So I'm thinking maybe I take a few units of skirmishers up. And see what maybe we can do around the flank. Unless there's somebody hiding up in here that I'm not aware of. But that's why I take skirmishers and not entire brigades for that purpose. All right, let's get our artillery starting to fire on these guys. All right, so far it doesn't appear there's anything back there. So maybe I can, in fact, although he's probably got something up here, yep. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's, uh... I'm going to bring up a couple of brigades just to try and get concentrated fire on that position. If I can just break one spot on this line, I can start to roll up this flank. So that's what we're going to try here. And then we'll go from there. Of course, he can't fire on everybody at once, so... I'm actually going to run these units up. I'm going to focus right on this spot here. I can see those guys back there, but hopefully I don't get too close to their position. Alright, we'll see what this does. I'm going to bring Law around. All right, we routed him. That helps. What doesn't help is immediately getting flanked. All right, now we'll advance these guys straight. Ah, uh, Vaughn got routed. Temporarily. Looks like we're getting him to kind of halt now. Now, Pender, I want you to go straight. We'll let these guys do that. Alright, so this is, the, this is the plan at this point, is just roll up this line one at a time. Although at some point I run into his second line of defenses and that, that gets ugly. We got a unit that routed right there in the middle. That's nice. All right, we're on to the second line here. Rather than push across and get flanking fire from all these guys, I'm just going to actually push straight up. We'll see how that goes. Got to take out these guns. Obviously, these lead units are going to have pretty high casualties compared to others. Especially when they've got canister fire and a couple of brigades on them there. But it's necessary to win the battle. Alright, I'm going to 
send some more up that way. The rest of these guys, I'm just going to kind of let them fire. I'm going to pause for a second just to kind of evaluate the rest of the situation. I'm so focused on that end that I don't really have the opportunity to deal with other parts. I think I'm going to send my mounted units around over here. See what trouble I might be able to get them into. And then all of my available brigades that aren't on the line, I'm going to shift over that way too. So we'll see how that all works out. I just want to look at the casualty situation among these guys on the line. Uh, so Bartlett's doing really well. Bragg, all of these, these units are actually inflicting more casualties than they're taking. And that, of course, doesn't count the artillery. So I'm definitely doing well in that department. I mean, looking at overall here, he's lost about 1,500 men. I've lost about 1,800. Considering I'm assaulting a elevated fortified position, I will take that. So obviously these units are, are falling back as they get broken against massive numbers over here, but I'm expecting that. The point is I'm, I'm driving them back, so it's working. of my troops because right now he has the advantage but I've got 25,000 more men than he does so I don't know how much to press this and how much to wait for my reinforcements I just don't like him having the fortifications that's why I keep doing the attacks here we go all right, time out. Here comes our next line of troops, and they're all going straight up there. Ooh, all kinds of men. Perfect. The whole idea is to come up at them this way and sweep around. Let me see what the actual objectives are needed to be here. We have to hold the West Redoubt, hold Salient Work, hold Halls Ferry Road. So... All of the objectives must be held. That's going to get interesting. But we'll see. I think I've issued instructions to all of them. I have. So these lead, obviously, these lead brigades, massive casualties. It's just the way it's going to be. I'm going to go ahead and reattach these skirmishers to their units. point is I'm just going to keep pouring men into this situation until I weaken him so much that when my next line comes up there's just nothing they can do. And I really want to take out these artillery wherever possible. I'm just going to keep assaulting. I got more men coming up. I'm going to have more men than him in this battle. Eventually, he's just going to run out of men to defend. I mean, obviously, it's going to cost me heavily in casualties, but...
Okay, we, uh, let's see. Lost about 6,000 men. He's lost about 3,300. Here come our last reinforcements. I'm going to pause for just one second and do another evaluation of how things are going here. We've got four hours to go still. I've driven back the next line here. I should probably kind of hold, get my new forces into the field, and then try to make this last push and, and curve around and just sweep over these hills. I really don't want to march up this hill straight on. I just think that would be even more of a disaster than this attack already is going to be. So let me do this. Let me get this whole force kind of in a line here. Nah, we're just going to keep... I don't quite understand sometimes how it does things that it does. But we're going to just kind of solidify everybody right where they are. and hold up until I can get the rest of my reinforcements up and then make that last push in an orderly fashion as best I can. That's a lot of men still headed that way. I'm gonna send a few units, mobile units like uh, cavalry and skirmishers over this way just in case I need to be able to make a flanking run around that side. Send a couple of units this way as well. The majority of them are going this way. And I'm going to start shifting some of these units over the, to, to the right here. Because it looks like I can use them. Alright, we got to re, uh, resupply some artillery here. Okay. Let's get into position, get ready for our next march up the hill. Make sure my units that have broken get pushed back into the action. Wow, he has he really just largely abandoned this position? I just gotta be cautious because he's probably up here defending and I don't wanna assault that. So I'll just look real quick. Yep, there they are. Okay. Let's uh, stay where we are, guys. Gonna continue the attack on the left here. Vaughn, I want you to go that way. Louisiana Tiger straight. I love when I catch artillery out in front. 
All right, let's do this. Oh, we got to get history guy up here. All right, we secured the first objective. Oh, Vaughn, go in there and grab that artillery if you can. Keep moving everybody up. Still got one more real tight defensive old man with two batteries as well. That's not going to be fun. And I've lost 11,000 men. He's lost 6,500. 6, Obviously, I'm going to end up losing as many men as I will gain from victory. But for the first time playing through it, I guess that's better than it could be. Plus, I get 20% of them back from my medicine advances. Got a bit of a log jam here with all these units. We got to get that battery. Man, this is such a beautiful defensive position if you're the Union. All right, we can go ahead and advance Bragg and Stedman now. Who's back here? Oh, I got a general and a battery back here. That's not good battery back here as well. All right. So I just want to keep an eye now on what my advantage is. The number of men I have more than him. Right now it's about 18,000. Oh, look at that. I gotta keep an eye on the clock, make sure that I leave myself enough time to take all these objectives. History guy, get up there. This is gonna be the hardest part. I gotta keep moving, and not just stand out here in the open and get shot. I just gotta keep hurling my men at them to overrun these positions and take away the advantage of the fortification. moving everybody forward as others fall back these ones jump in and take their place oh, I overran some supplies too that's nice I'm gonna turn a few of these brigades this way okay we got some brigades that have broken that I need to get back up into the action Get our general up in here. And the rest of those forces over on the right, I'm just going to hold them there. All right, a little bit of an issue on my left. Ooh, General Johnny McCook was killed. So I need I need some more firepower on my left than what I've got at the moment. We gotta overrun these guns. We can't stand there and take canister fire to the face. I know you guys are exhausted, but you gotta you just gotta take out these batteries. We can handle the infantry.
All right, one more pause just to kind of evaluate, make sure I'm not leaving units behind. Might be time to move up the artillery a little bit. Maybe I can get these units up and around. I don't know what else he's got defending up there, but it's at least worth looking into since these units are otherwise not really doing much. And uh, let's see, I have a 15, almost 16,000 man advantage in numbers. So it's down from where it was. I just got to be cautious that I don't lose so many men that I can't win. Two and a half hours to go here. I feel like this will be the hardest part. Once I take this objective, I think it'll ease, ease up a little bit. tight here. Brag, fall back if you can. Oh, come on, take out this battery. No, Randall, I want you to go after the battery, not after the infantry. Now it's a 14,000 man advantage. Uh, it's closing rapidly. I've lost 19,000 men already. And i still got two hours to go. Oh. Brutal. Uh, and there are a bunch of men up here, too. Look at that. Wow, they, they really did have this ring going all the way around. So that that's not helpful at all. I'm just now getting to the top of the hill. I feel like I'm General Grant now, just hurling men to their deaths against the enemy position. In an effort to bring an end to the war. Two hours to go. We're just now about to take this objective. We'll still have one more to go.
All right. Wow, the timer's a half hour? That means I got, what, maybe an hour to get this last objective. Assuming that timer's gonna work the way a lot of them have. All right, we gotta start pressing this thing. Once I get these forces right about to here, I'll send the rest of these guys up that hill. But I need to overrun this position first. I lost 24,000 men. Which means right now, if the battle were to end, I'd basically break even. Because I'd get the 21,000 as reward. I'd get about 4,000, 5,000 of them back. Because of medicine. Send the rest. And try to just overwhelm them. Interesting, he actually sent a brigade down. You gotta get down here and partake of some of these supplies right here. Garfield just lost 200 men in the blink of an eye. Unless they're forgiving with this timer, I may not be able to do this. Because if it requires me to have it not... Tested, I may only have about 20 more minutes. So I'm just going to have to hurl everybody I got. the hill into the maelstrom of death. My goodness. What a beautiful defensive position to have. This is like Maurice Heights at Fredericksburg. Drove woods off. All right, come on, guys. 
If it's a half hour timer, I'm already messed up. This may be one of those ones where I'm I'm holding the objective and it may not give me the option to wait. It may just automatically cause me to lose the battle. Some of those they fixed and others they haven't. Within the 12 minutes. I just can't get up the hill fast enough. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. Yes, continue the fight. Thank you. I have no men left, but continue the fight. <laughs> go, go, go. Goodness. I'm definitely going to replay this battle now that I know what to expect. Because I'm definitely not going to advance in the campaign with this many casualties. I'll have no chance in the final two battles. What have I lost? 40,000 men? Eh, 36,000. By far the most I've lost in a, in a battle. We gotta wait for it to no longer be contested before we tell this tell them that the battle's over. Keep hurling men into the abyss to hold the objective. For fifteen more minutes. Not that I'll have anybody left. No, 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 no. Don't leave it for him to take it back. Please. Oh boy, there it goes. No, 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 get up there. Go. Oh, come on. You're killing me. I had five minutes left. Now I gotta do it again. I mean, I can. I'm just gonna probably lose a couple thousand more men to do it. Jeez, well, like I said, I'm gonna replay this anyway. Uh, there's no way I'm planning on advancing into the campaign with the results of this battle, but at least it gives you a look at it. And then we can maybe talk strategy, and I'll uh, I'll go back and replay it, and then maybe I'll just re re reshoot the ending for you and let you see what it looks like now that I know what, what I'm doing a little better. And let you see how it compares with a little better strategy but I'll wait maybe a day or two so I'll give you some time to kind of see this and get everybody's input as to what you think maybe I should try and how best to go about this one because I thought maybe that would work but it just took so long and so many casualties to take the first objective that it just made the second one that much bloodier so I don't know I'm not sure what the best way to do this would be. Maybe to go around this side and come from the far right? I don't know. That's a conversation worth having. I'm talking about a way to do this without losing 38,000 men. Which is exactly what happened here. My goodness gracious. 
And I didn't even capture or rescue all that much to make it worth my while. You got 24 pounders up there, no wonder. Jeez. And the next one's gonna be even worse. So you can see I've got, let's see. I've got 35,000 men left in my army. I've got another 21,000 there. That gives me like 56,000 to work with. And going into this other battle, Harden Pike, which is basically the battle for Nashville. What are we looking at here? 70,000 Union soldiers in another tight defensive position. So there you have it. Uh, so that's your first look. That was not a great battle for me at all, but it was my very first time playing. So I welcome your input, your ideas, your strategy. What do you think I should do? I'm going to go back and replay that one, see if I can do it better because there's no way I can advance in this fight uh, with those kind of losses. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I welcome all of your comments. If you'd hit that thumbs up, it'd mean a lot to me. Thanks, and we will see you again soon.